Now, as you're working with the contour of the form or the external contour and you're working on the shutter shape contour, you can also echo the visual variation of nature even before going into a full-on value scale. And this, I think, is one of the elements that I love about uh, graphite drawing, um, how we can actually express a value relationship and a contrast relationship without actually using values. It becomes a bit metaphysical in a way. And maybe it can seem a little bit dogmatic, but it is actually very pragmatic because it all ties together with uh, translating nature well and translating nature uh, in a very effective way so that we can focus on translating the essence of structure before we start to introduce a whole bunch of detail and values and complexity to the form. So when we can keep it very simple but very succinct in the early moment of the drawing, we're really investing in structure and creating the foundation of structure which is going to pay off later on because it means that when we start to become more complex in the drawing and for example work with a increasing degree of darker values and more complex transitions and details at that point moving blocks of information around becomes much more cumbersome than in the earlier stages of the drawing. So ensure as much as possible that the questions of gesture and proportion is sort of locked in before you start to advance the drawing with adding a increasing complexity of values and information. So this again ties together with being able to work with the element of mass without actually using values. And we can do that through creating a little bit of variation, albeit that would be a little bit of value variation, but exclusively in the areas where you have a contour. So where the light shape of the form meets the background or where the light shape of the figure or the portrait meets the shadow shape within the figure. So now when you look at the composition of Stan and you squint way down, for example, you will notice that the contrast between his forehead and the background, that is a fairly sharp contour. And it is actually fairly dark because the contrast between his light shape of the forehead to the background is strong. So in the context of oil paint, we express that through having a dark background and having a light value to the forehead. But in the early stages, especially of the pencil drawing, we can actually hint at that value relationship without using values, but really expressing that contrast through the variation of line. Now, this is a way to work in a very visual, yet a very simplified way in the early moments of the uh, pencil drawing process. So if we then have a sharp and contrasted line in contrast with a shadow shape contour, which may be softer and atmospheric, often you will see that the shadow shape contour has a softer personality. And this is because the shadow shape, while it is an internal contour, it is also a part of the form. This means that while we can see a shadow shape contour, there is also an activity of transitional halftones very often surrounding that shadow shape contour. And that helps to bridge the connection between the shadow shape and the light shape. Just to synopsize, the structural definition of the shadow shape is the contour, not the arbitrary value that is inside of it. It is the contour. And while the shadow shape is a powerful internal contour, it is also a continuation of form in contrast to the external contour, which is a conclusion of a form. For instance, in the portrait of Sten, the contour of the forehead, that's the conclusion of the form. So we have form happening all the way in the area of the forehead and then boom, it stops. The form travels no longer and therefore we see a fairly crisp uh, edge to that contour. And notice how this is contrasted to the contour of the shadow shape uh, within the form. So remember, the shadow shape is a contour, but it is also a continuation of form. And that means that we will have typically a sequence of half tones surrounding the shadow shape contour. And that is why the form shadow shape often will take on a softer, more atmospheric personality than the external contour.
So then how does this relate to the medium of graphite, you may ask? Well, we can translate this phenomenon by building a slightly softer, airier type of line than what we implement in other zones where we have a sharper, more contrasted configuration of the contour.